Pistol caliber carbines alongside subguns have had somewhat of a renaissance in the past decade, seeing increased popularity amongst recreational shooters, law enforcement and close protection. The reasons range from cheaper ammunition to reduced collateral damage in urban areas. After all, the last thing you want when taking out an active shooter is to hit the five innocent civilians behind him in the other building. As firearms trends move, so does Airsoft, with EMG and King Arms teaming up with American manufacturer Black Rain Ordnance to bring you an Airsoft version of their Ion 9 PCC to Airsoft. Hi guys, I'm Andrew and in this week's video, I'll be reviewing the new EMG Black Rain Ordnance, or BRO for short, 9mm GBB rifle made by King Arms. A replica of the Black Rain Ordnance BRO Ion 9 pistol caliber carbine. I have here the black 10 inch carbine version with a stylish red and gold highlights, but the shorter SBR version should function just the same. Externally, the BRO PCC features a gorgeous CNC aluminium receiver with steel retention pins just like the real thing. And it also features fully licensed Black Rain Ordnance markings on the receiver, handguard over here, and even the muzzle brake. With an additional really cool looking uh, Let It Rain inscription on the inside of the dust cover. Now, the carbine itself feels rock solid. Aside from a slight rattling from the simulated gas tube over here. Now, while the finishing of the black parts of the rifle look and feel great, we unfortunately have noticed some serious flaking on the red parts, mainly on the inside, despite the gun being brand new. So starting from the front, we have, as previously mentioned, the marked muzzle brake with ports on the X and upper Y axis. Now, a side note is that this many ports on a 9mm carbine means there would have been practically no muzzle rise on the real thing, which is great for a sporting weapon. Now, further down, we have a gorgeous semi-skeletonized handguard with four M-lock slots on the 6 o'clock position, but only one on the 3 and 9 o'clock positions due to the huge black rain ordnance markings on both sides. Now. On top, we have obviously a divided Picatinny rail with, on the front, a folding removable front sight. Further back, we have the removable folding adjustable rear sight with two aperture sight settings for your convenience. And now for the hop up. Buckle up guys, because it's quite a doozy. As this BRO PCC is based on the older WA system, the hop up can only be accessed through an adjustment dial on the outer barrel which is beneath this handguard. Unfortunately for you, there is no quick attach mechanism for the handguard. So you must first manually unscrew eight screws with a hex key in order to remove the handguard every time you want to adjust the rifle's hop up. Definitely not doable in game. So really do keep that in mind. Over to the rear and we have a typical AR style buffer tube. But unlike the real steel ions compliant brace, this replica has a full blown six position adjustable EMG alpha stock, which is frankly a real upgrade. <laughs> and now for the receiver. The upper receiver is your standard, typical M4 GBB type receiver, whilst the lower, the bolt catch, the fire selector and the magazine release are unfortunately all right hand only. The trigger though, is pretty crisp though there is practically no take up and the reset is very noticeable so that's quite a big plus. Over to the magwell and as the name suggests the BRO 9mm PCC takes airsoft Glock magazines and is compatible with all Glock magazines from TM, VFC and WE. It does come however with its own extended Glock magazine Though if you take a closer look over here, you'll notice that it actually has a spacer inside the follower that reduces the extended magazine's capacity from 50 to a more realistic 30 rounds. Now, if realism isn't a priority and you want more DACA, just remove the spacer hidden inside this base plate, just like so. But watch out for the spring, else there's a chance it might shoot out. 
So the EMG Black Rain Ordnance PCC looks and feels pretty solid sporting gun. But how does it actually shoot? Let's head to the range and find out. And now for the chrono. As usual, we'll be firing 0.2 gram BBs using green gas. Though I must note that it is a bit of a colder day today. And now for the accuracy test. Here we are yet again in landing zone, though there is a game going on in the background. And we'll be shooting at a target 30 meters away with 0.25 gram BBs. So let's get going, shall we? Oh, I really love the reset on this. And there we go. Um, like I said before about the hop up, I did notice some serious inconsistencies. So I'm not sure how well that would affect my accuracy. That being said, overall, in terms of ergonomics, this pistol caliber carbine would work great in CQB and short range areas. I just have to advise maybe against firing long range. But then again, it is nine mil, so in reality, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. But let's just see how well I did. All right, let's see this. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm not gonna draw a grouping diagram because that would be unfair to the six shots that did miss. However, as mentioned earlier, we were having quite a few issues with adjusting the hop up, especially when it comes with its consistency. That being said, the rifle is very nice. It's got very, very good ergonomics and would function just fine in a CQB environment where it's basically designed for. So, hey, not everything can be perfect. Anyway, thanks for listening. Let's head back to the studio, shall we? And we're back. So the EMG Black Rain Ordnance PCC feels and shoots as well as we've come to expect. Pretty decent. So let's rank the thing. For fun factor, we give the EMG BRO PCC four out of five stars. It looks and feels great. And the magazine compatibility means that if you have a Glock based sidearm, you only need to carry one type of magazine to a game. Convenient. Unfortunately, it is dragged down by the dreadfully inconvenient hop up placement, which simply isn't fun to adjust. Realism is an impressive 4.5 stars out of five. In form and function, the EMG BRO PCC looks, feels, and acts like the real thing. The only shortcoming to its realism is the EMG Alpha stock, which is unlike the Real Steel's compliant brace. Though let's be frank, this is definitely an upgrade. On performance, we give it three out of five stars. It shoots well and has a sharp recoil, but long range performance could be better. In addition, the lack of ambidextrous controls may affect usability, especially for the lefties out there. Build quality gets 3.5 stars out of 5. Whilst the aluminium receiver and handguard are excellent, the flaking paint on the coloured parts are a pretty serious distraction from the overall quality of the carbine. On value though, at a hefty 500 US dollars, we're giving the BRO PCC three stars out of five. Whilst it's one of the best looking PCCs out there, that price point will be a sore spot for some. Collectability, we give it four stars out of five. Black Rain Ordnance is not a common brand and an exclusive licensed airsoft gun is definitely going to be one of the more unique pieces you'll see out there on the field, especially for a PCC. 
Overall, we give the EMG Black Rain Ordnance PCC GBB made by King Arms an excellent 4 stars out of 5. It's one of the best licensed PCCs out there and you cannot really go wrong with this one. So let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the EMG BRO PCC? Let us know in the comments section below. And for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redwellfairsoft.com. This is Andrew, callsign Flood, out. <laughs>